Hello, this is a little lesson on Titan 1. I started a new show and I want to show you how to use SACN triggers so that the software controls itself. I think I did something like this before, but anyway, we will do it to die. Um, new show started, I patch in something. I just set up a, uh, a very basic setup where you can see how it works. Um, you are free to change it in any way. So, patch, we just patch some dimmers. Nothing else. You will get the idea. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be enough. Okay. Um, first is just a normal scenario. Um, we have a look at the capture visualizer window where hopefully our six dimmers have appeared. Then we have. Um, one playback record here. Then we have another playback here. Records. And we have another playback with the fifth demo. Record here. And finally, we have the sixth one. Full record here. Okay, this is just standard procedure. And now imagine you have a setup where you want, as soon as you raise the last one, that the other ones just release. And um, how to do this? First thing is we do a little macro, sorry for that, um, we record a macro which is macro record where to record is here and contents of the macro should be release this, release this and release this. This is the contents of the macro. So. Finish recording macro. Now the question is how to bring this macro into this very queue, so that uh, as soon as I raise the fader, both things happen. So um, all other playbacks get released, and this one is fired. This is what you want to do. And for the moment, um, you, there is no way to put. Uh, macros inside of single queues. You can put macros into queue lists, but not into single queues. And this is our setup where we are going to use SACM triggers. So first thing is we need to patch another dimmer. Patch dimmer. And now we just use address 510, 510. Put it somewhere where you just nearly forget it. Next thing is we need to make sure that this one is output via SACN. So go to system, DMX settings, and here you see I'm actively using it. So it is output on SACN universe one. So far, so good. Okay. And now we, um, how to proceed? We want to trigger this macro by this channel. So, um, I'm just thinking about how to make it accessible because I need a large window. I just uh, move this um, fixture there. So, move this one there. Okay, this is our demo. Yeah, there we go. So, and we now create a trigger for this. We go to system. Note that this is only possible if either you have an active network connection or you have the Microsoft loopback adapter installed. 
which is standard on Windows, but you need to install it or activate it. So either active network connection or the loot back adapter. Okay, next page, triggers, add a new trigger, give it a name, one, two, three. Now we make it a little bit smaller. Half page should be enough, okay? Because we need to trigger this macro. Add a trigger. We want to trigger this macro. Now we had hit OK. And this type is SACN, Streaming ACN, Universe 1, Address. I could type in 510 or since it's in learn mode just raise the dimmer and you see already it recognizes itself so 510 as the um how it's called the trigger the uh, actuator so to say and add this okay so this results in okay Exit, 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 exit. Have a look. Of course, I know I can move it back or release it. Clear. And now, as soon as I move this fader, it should trigger this macro, which then releases our cues. Yeah. There's a release time of two seconds, that's why they are fading out. And now it's very easy. I move this dimmer back up there. So move this one here. Uh, it's selective, so that's why I clear. And now we can um, add this to our queue, which is then going to trigger the macro which then releases all the other cues. So dimmer at full. This triggers the macro and we merge this into our queue. Record, double click is a quick merge. Done. And at first we check it. Now two fixtures should go on. Um, our real fixture and our dummy dimmer. Have a look. Okay. Looking good so far. And now we try it real life. Uh, assuming you have a situation like this. And now finally you fire the last queue. And this releases all the other ones. Of course, you can set the release time to zero or whatever, but this is how SACN triggers work.